Ubisoft's nostalgic leap into NFTs, Rayman, and beyond good and evil characters enter the sandbox. Assassin's Creed maker, the gaming giant Ubisoft, is launching a new set of non-fungible token NFT avatars for the popular metaverse game The Sandbox for 120 sand each, enabling players to earn sand along the way. Ethereum's scaling network Polygon will launch a collection of 1,866 futuristic cyberpunk player avatars presented as NFTs. This is a limited edition set of 1-1 Captain Lazarhawk, the Blood Dragon remix characters, including Raymond, Dolph Lazarhawk, and Bullfrog. For the FAQ page, during the allow listing stage, one avatar will cost 90 sand. After this, during the public sale, one avatar will cost 120 sand. For the prices at the time of writing, this would be $37 and $49, respectively. During Alalis days November 28 and 29, only registered wallets will be authorized to mint avatars. Only 200 avatars will be available for free on November 28 and will be distributed on a first-come, first-served basis. Users will be allow listed based on specific criteria according to the NFTs they hold. The full list is available on the FAQ page. 3,000 spots are available on the allow list. According to the website, registration for it will last from November 21 through 27. The mint date is November 29. Public sale will go live a day later, on November 30, while the reveal will happen on December 6. Earn Sand The Sandbox website invited users to play as a citizen of Eden and Earn Sand. Each avatar, it said, will be playable inside the Sandbox metaverse. They unlock features, events, rewards, and content. There are unique play and earn opportunities for avatar holders, giving any holder the opportunity to earn sand and slash or NFT through gameplay. Underdogs, cyber soldiers, TV hosts, rebel hackers, and military psychopaths are all present in Eden waiting to be collected, the company said, adding, complete the quests of the Captain Lazarhawk Blood Dragon. Experience to earn part of the 100k sand pool and participate in exclusive community activations. Each avatar is customized with unique, randomly generated traits. There are four types of these NFTs, super rare, rare, uncommon, and common. Also in a first for the sandbox, avatars will come in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. Furthermore, after the end of the initial sale, players will be able to buy an unlimited number of avatars from users selling theirs on the OpenSea marketplace. Lastly, Eden Icons holders will receive an Eden Care package. The Netflix show, the avatars are based on the French, American adult animated series Captain Lazarhawk, the Blood Dragon remix produced by Ubisoft Film and Television, Bobapils, and Bootleg Universe. The show is inspired by the 2013 video game Far Cry 3, Blood Dragon and includes a combination of elements and characters from several Ubisoft franchises including Assassin's Creed, Ghost Recon, and Splinter Cell. Ubisoft first unveiled the show in October 2019, and Netflix released it in October 2023. The experience is transporting the users into 1992 as citizens of Eden. Per the Hey Mint platform website, this is an original adventure filled with mystery, hacking, and stealth. The year is 1992. Welcome to Eden to celebrate the launch of Captain Lazarhawk Blood Dragon on Netflix. Ubisoft and the Sandbox have teamed up to allow players to enter the metaverse as Eden Online EXE citizens in an exclusive avatar collection. HTTPS slash slash T co slash IV5 Yotwa QM. Get pick Twitter com slash TTGY QVate QE. The Sandbox at the Sandbox Game. November 20, 2023 Enter your email for our free daily newsletter A quick 3 min read about today's crypto news Sign up in src equals https slash slash simg co slash p slash ml 300 jpeg all equals image class equals img id equals newsletter pop-up in